2016 I was involved in a project with Yatu Gnap from South Korea and we wanted to create a project in South Africa to connect land artists with each other. I then approached the Hex River Tourism because we wanted to stay four days here in the valley and I met up with Milani Esterhazen who's the CEO of Hex Valley Tourism and everything else is history. I think it's about what is your value and how can you connect that with the people in the valley. Now Milani started a very wonderful campaign which is called Know Your Valley campaign which I think is an incredible threat to connect everybody. My personal interest is obviously land art but also I love working with people and creating collective artworks. So currently my biggest passion, of course, is the Hex Lapis. We meet once a week at Petra College and it is an incredible project about having conversations about what connects us, how can we connect and what is our value for the future. So land art is something that most people don't really, really understand. Most people expect it to be a painting of the landscape on your wall. We land artists actually go into the landscape and we create art that is not permanent, that doesn't actually leave anything behind. There's no traces. And the only way you can actually capture land art is by photographs. So photographic records and, or documentation of land art is really important. It's about creating small, tiny, little interventions in the land that will make you rethink the landscape. So it's not something that is permanent, it's not something you can capture, but it's something you actually more hold in your soul. One of the most renowned land artists in South Africa is Annie Sneeman and Stradum van der Merwe. Annie Sneeman has been involved creating geoglyphs on the Karoo or in the Karoo and I am part of that team to create with her and various other artists a drawing in the landscape. A geoglyph is something you can only see from the sky, um, you actually walk it. So it's a walking thinking path and it tries to connect you with the earth. The big thing that attracted me to be involved with land art and to engage with the process of creating art in the landscape was that the material is for free. The earth gives us leaves, sand, rocks, tree trunks and we can just use that to create beautiful drawings and especially about teaching young children or young school learners about art. It's amazing, you can take them into the landscape and create drawings in the sand, you can create shadows, you can create awareness of the environment and I think that's really important. The question about a legacy is always complex and sometimes one thinks, oh, I'm not going to leave a legacy behind, what does that mean? But actually there is something very important about that question. At the end of the day, it is about your value and how do you connect your value with people around you? And my motivation for all the creative projects that I'm engaging with is that this is my backyard. And in order for me to have a value in my backyard, I need to actually connect people so that we collectively have a legacy.